This is a Stirling engine, one of those remarkable handheld ones which relies on only the heat of the hand. So the difference in temperature is merely the difference between my warm skin of my hand here and the top surface, which is the room temperature. And um, they only came out a few years ago because the technology is quite advanced and to do it you've got to have very, very fine, very, very finely made materials. Isn't that amazing? It's already working on the heat of my hand. So this hand, my, my hand is providing heat for the bottom plate, which is warming the air, and that then pushes the piston up, the little power piston here, and the air then is moved downwards by this little displacer here, which looks like a piston, it's actually just a little an air displacer. And then the air is moved into the contact with the top plate, which is quite cool still, cold to the touch anyway, and there it contracts and pulls the piston down. It's astonishing how quickly though that the air alternates itself between the cold and hot state, enough to make this thing rotate at quite a good speed. If I put this onto a, a block of ice, it would actually go the other way around, which is a nice touch as well. If, if, it, or if I had a very, very cold hand, much colder than the temperature of this top piece here, this thing would then spin in the, in the opposite direction, the anti-clockwise direction. But, but as long as there's a temperature difference between the bottom plate, which is my hand, and the top, this will keep, this will keep going. I'm only pushing it down, don't, don't I don't need to hold it down anymore. This is superbly made. The engineering is quite astonishing. Far better than the version that I had for several years ago. This is this is this is a Rolls Royce job. Astonishing. What an absolute beauty. A sterling engine working off the hand. Warm hands.